cool to have your grid lines here turn up here as well. So if you move one of these grid lines, it updates in your elevation sections. That's what the grid line tool is all about. So here I have the same file without any grid lines in it. So let's have a look. I'm going to create some grid lines and we'll see them appear in these if I have the right settings. And so now this is my grid line tool here and I'm going to use the Z or the Z key to zoom in. That's one grid. They've got another grid here to go in. And I'm making sure that these grids snap to the existing building. Here I've got to make sure that I snap to the construction part of the building and then I'm going to go the other direction. And here I need to snap to my construction there again and make sure it's horizontal. And here do the same thing. Snap to that. Make sure it goes that way. So you can see I've got my grids now. I'm just going to smarten them all up. So you select your grid line, go to grid line instances, choose which viewports you want it to show up in, and then it shows up on the drawings that you want.